Log4Shell was a vulnerability that set the internet on fire. So what's a vulnerability? And how come Log4Shell made all this noise? A software vulnerability is a flaw that might result in a loss of security, compromising the integrity, confidentiality or availability of your data. Flaws are inevitable. After all, no software is perfect. What does a vulnerability look like? Sometimes it's something trivial and small, like a duplicate line in the source code. In other cases, the weakness could be in a feature misused or not properly configured. So what happens when an attacker exploits a vulnerability? An attacker could use a vulnerability to gather information, either to prepare a bigger attack or leaking confidential data. A vulnerability can lead to service disruption or data corruption, and in the worst case, an attacker could gain complete access to your infrastructure, holding your systems hostage, completely halting your business, or using it for their own profit. Two things made Log4Shell one of the biggest vulnerabilities in computing history. It was easy to exploit, and the Log4J library was basically everywhere. Let's see how it all started. The weak code was introduced in 2013, yet the vulnerability wasn't disclosed until eight years later. A vulnerability unknown to the public and the software maintainers is called a zero day. Zero days are very valuable for attackers. They can allow an attack to go unnoticed until the vulnerability is revealed. Log4Shell was privately disclosed to the Log4J developers on November 24, 2021, and it was made public with a tweet on December 9th. After a vulnerability is published, there's a lot happening. Security researchers try to understand its impact and exploitability. Vendors try to find a fix or workaround. Malicious actors start massive scans to exploit systems as early as possible. Companies rush to assess if their systems are vulnerable, and if it's something really critical, like Log4Shell, even governments get involved. Security is a constant battle between cyber attackers and defenders. When a new vulnerability gets disclosed, attackers have a huge head start. They've got the knowledge, and there is no fix available yet. Once the vendors publish the patches or mitigation steps, the pressure shifts to the sysadmins to apply these fixes. But with thousands of potential vulnerabilities on their systems, how can sysadmins have eyes on everything? Fortunately enough, most of these issues are catalogued in detail on vulnerability databases. One of the most famous is MITRE's CVE, which assigns IDs to all known software vulnerabilities. Other databases, like the National Vulnerability Database, add more detail to help with identification, response, and remediation. Let's look at the NVD entry for the Log4Shell vulnerability. We can quickly see inside the description, the versions that are vulnerable, and the ones where the flaw is fixed. In the severity section, we see that it has a high severity score, 10 out of 10. Clicking on the score shows how it is calculated. Want to know more? In the description, you'll find a good article explaining how vulnerabilities get their score. In short, this vulnerability got the maximum score because it was very easy to exploit, it didn't require authentication, was remotely exploitable without any user interaction, and allowed attackers to execute arbitrary commands. That's really bad. And to make it worse, the Log4J library is used by the vast majority of Java applications. Adding a score to vulnerabilities helps in prioritizing the issues to fix, but the score isn't everything. A good security report should also consider if the vulnerability is exploitable, if it is in a critical area of your company, and how you use the weak components. So how do you defend yourself from these vulnerabilities? You need to act on every possible stage and as early as possible. Automating vulnerability scanning will simplify scanning in more places and more frequently, so you can address vulnerabilities sooner. For known vulnerabilities that have a fix, the best defense is to apply the security patches as soon as possible. That's why IT keeps bugging you to keep your software updated. If there is no fix available yet, there might be mitigations you could apply. For Log4Shell, the initial mitigation was advanced firewall rules, changing the default logging configuration, removing the vulnerable parts from the library. In any case, you should always have runtime security tools constantly monitoring your systems. 
These are able to detect abnormal behaviors that happen when a vulnerability is exploited and even respond to stop the attacks. Vulnerabilities are treacherous beasts that sometimes hide in the most innocent looking software. Keeping up with the security advisories and updates takes effort, but it is necessary to defend against the most common attacks. Want to learn more about vulnerabilities or even see some of them in action? Like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have more great videos on the way. Thanks for watching.